Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to make a unicorn cake. I'm going to do it with buttercream instead of fondant this time. Buttercream is something I don't usually use, so bear with me for this one, but I really did want to have a go. So this one I used some cookies to decorate it with. Now I do show you the cookies on a previous video, so I'll put a link into that here. For the buttercream, I used the Colour Mill colours, and these are an oil-based colour, so they go well into buttercream, but you can use different colours to what I have done. I'm going to use a masonette cake board so that I don't have to cover it in fondant or ice it separately. And I'm going to use some metal cutters just to trim the edges of my cake. So I've just got five inch cakes and I've got, um, forgot the word for them, sprinkles inside the cakes uh, so that they've got that kind of rainbow colour. I've forgotten what you call cakes with sprinkles in, sorry guys. <laughs> But it's sponge, it's vanilla sponge with sprinkles inside. I'm going to link below everything that I did use, guys, for you to see. I'm just putting the layers of buttercream in between. I'm using a simple syrup on this. So it's just sugar and water sort of boiled together till the sugar's dissolved. It's just if you're worried that your cake might get a little bit dry, you can just put a little bit of this on and it'll just keep it moist. So you don't want to completely drench it. Just a little bit will be fine. And try and get your cake central on the board. Unlike me, I did it off center and I didn't even notice until I was looking back at the video just now. And you can stack it as high as you want. So I'm gonna go high enough that my scraper that I'm gonna use later for the buttercream still goes all the way to the top. And it's just the rose color food coloring that I've got in this one. I only put a tiny bit in just for the first coat and then we're gonna go in a different color over the top. So you just wanna get a layer of that all the way around with your spatula. So this is our first crumb coat guys. And then we're gonna put that in the fridge and then we're gonna work on some detailing while that's in the fridge. So I've got some black modeling paste here. You can use black fondant if you prefer as well. And I'm just rolling it into some long thin pieces or one long thin piece and I'm gonna just cut it at an angle in half. And these are gonna be our little eyes, our closed eyelashes. So I want to kind of give them a bit of a curve. I'm just cutting the edge off just so I've got a nice point. And it's up to you how curved you want them to be. Now, these are the biscuits that I did create in an earlier video. So I'll put a link up to that video now. I'm going to stick them together and I've put a wooden kebab skewer. So it's food safe in the middle with some royal icing. Just neaten off the icing a bit there. And that's going to set before I stick it into the cake. Now I've got these little sprinkles here. I think these are called the ice cream mix sprinkles. Again, I'll put links below for you guys to see. And then I've got this luster dust, which I'm just going to put a tiny bit of. Now, you don't have to do either of these things. I just thought it added a nice little extra magical touch to my mermaid cake. And you want to just give these eyes a little bit of time to firm up. So in about 15 minutes time, they should be pretty firm anyway. So I'm just going to roll some balls of fondant or sugar paste, guys. I realize it's fondant in the US. It's actually sugar paste here in the UK. I'm not too worried if they're not all the same size. These are just going to be for decoration. Um, you'll see as well in the left hand corner of my screen I actually have some stars and shells and these are made out of chocolate again I don't show you how I make them in this video but I have made them in the previous video with the cookies so you can see that and then the big balls that I've made I'm just dipping them into this edible powder and it's a sparkling white it doesn't show very well on camera guys but it was a really nice kind of sparkly effect on on the pearls and I just put those to one side to dry and please do excuse all the mess in the background as well I've got my stuff everywhere at the moment. So cake out the fridge. I'm gonna add a second layer of the buttercream. So I put plenty of buttercream on on this second layer. We're gonna scrape it all off. I'm going for the same color I used on the top, which is that rose. And then I've added a bit of lilac to some of my buttercream and I've put that around the bottom. So they kind of merge together in the middle. And then we're gonna scrape around with our scraper. And you can do this a couple of times. You can give it more than one, two, three coats if you want. I haven't got it overly neat. I'm pretty rubbish with buttercream okay guys so we're gonna add sprinkles to the buttercream I think this is a mermaid mix sprinkles that I've got here but you can use whatever color you want on yours now I've put it on a turntable in a big container so that the sprinkles that drop off into the box I can easily collect them and put them back in my little pot so just make sure it's a nice clean container that you're gonna use because they're gonna go everywhere so just trying to pat them on gently and you can you, you can wear food safe gloves if you prefer for this guys so i'm just pushing them in around the edge you can see like my buttercream is not very neat at all i'm hoping to put this bit at the back that's not very neat and then we're going to pipe some unicorn hair over the top of that so it'll all be fine some of the bigger sprinkles don't stick very well so you might have to push them on sort of individually afterwards so once your sprinkles are on choose which side you want to be the front 
Mine's pretty messy all the way around, to be fair. I'm going to push those little eyelashes in. And I'm going to add even more of that lilac -y colour to my leftover buttercream. I just want it to be a little bit darker than what's on the cake itself. And I've still got some of the rose buttercream as well. We're going to go a bit darker with that as well. And then we're going to use this for piping on just little swirls and bits. I don't, I don't know the technical name for buttercream stuff. I'm just going to squeeze it on with a piping nozzle. Now, I did actually try the Wilton piping nozzle that has like more than one bag so that you can do more than one colour at the same time in the swirls. So you're going to put as many of these as you want. And I've tried to bring it down sort of the forehead a little bit at the front and I've put quite a lot on the back as well. Now I'm adding that unicorn horn that I did earlier and I've also got some shell cookies so I'm gonna add one of them just in front of my unicorn horn and then I've got some other round spiral shaped cookies and also these chocolate little shells and I apologize guys I didn't show you how I made these in this particular video but I'm gonna put the link up again in the corner of this video so you guys can see how I made the cookies and then we're also gonna stick on those little pearls that we made in the fondant you could also use sprinkles as well if you prefer the sprinkles and anywhere you think needs a bit more buttercream just stick some more on that's absolutely fine so just keep adding as much stuff as you want into that main or buttercream as you want any bits you feel need more buttercream again just add some more swirls i put a bit too much buttercream in my piping bag so i did find it really difficult to pipe with it so maybe don't put quite as much in your bag as what i have done I think I'm going to have another try again with this Wilton one where it's different colours in the different bags. Or maybe with different colours. Okay, so there we go. It's all finished. This one I did make to go with the cookies. Um, so they were all kind of themed together. So please do have a little check out of the other video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please do subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of the videos. And I'll be adding more next week. Thanks guys. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.